Hi guys, today we're going to look at how we can rotate a 2D object so that it faces the direction it's moving in. We previously showed how to do this in 3D and we got several requests asking for a 2D version. So here it is. Right, let's get started by creating a new 2D project in Unity Hub. First we need a character to move around our scene. For this, we'll head over to the Asset Store and search for Shooter Sprite Pack. We'll add this asset and click Open in Unity. We'll then import into our project. Next, we'll add the character into the scene. In the project panel, we'll navigate to Assets, Shooter Sprite Pack, Sprites, Player Walk, and then we'll drag the Soldier Walk Zero sprite into the scene. We'll increase the size of the character a bit by setting the scale to 5 on both the X and Y axis. Now we have everything set up in our scene, the next thing we need to do is create a script to make our character move and rotate. To do this, we'll click on Add Component and search for the script component. We'll call this script Player Movement. We'll then double click the script to open it in Visual Studio. The first thing we want to do is move the character based on user input. We'll create a private field for the speed we want the character to move. We'll mark the field as serializable so that we can set it in the inspector. Then, in our update method, we'll get the player input on the horizontal axis and assign it to a variable. This will result in a value between minus 1 and 1 being stored in the variable, depending on what input there is. By default, Unity maps the horizontal axis input to the left and right arrow keys, the A and D keys, and the left and right movement of the gamepad left thumbstick. So for example, the horizontal value will be minus 1 when we press the left arrow and 1 when we press the right arrow. Next, we'll do the same for the vertical axis. Unity has the vertical axis input mapped to the up and down arrow keys, the W and S keys and the up and down movement of the gamepad left thumbstick. We'll now use these input values to make the character move. To do this, we'll create a two-dimensional vector for the direction we want the character to move in. We'll set the direction on the x-axis to our horizontal input. And we'll set the direction on the y-axis to our vertical input. This vector has our desired direction but also has a magnitude that will vary. Depending on the input, sometimes it will be greater than 1 and sometimes it will be less. To just get the direction, we'll normalise the vector, which will maintain the direction but set the magnitude to 1. Before we do the normalisation, we'll store the original magnitude, which we'll need later. We'll use the clamp01 function to clamp this within the range of 0 and 1. Next, we'll use these variables to change the position of the character. To do this, we'll access the object's transform and use the translate method. We'll specify the direction we want to move in. The magnitude of movement will be determined by our speed variable and the original input magnitude. We'll also multiply by time.delta time to ensure it moves at the same speed regardless of our frame rate. Finally, we need to specify that we are moving the character relative to the world. Let's save the script and switch back to Unity. We'll set the speed to 5 in the inspector and press play to try it out. We can now press the arrow keys to move the character around the scene. The character moves but it doesn't turn to face the direction it's moving yet. Let's stop the game and switch back to the script to fix this. We'll add a new field for the speed we want the character to rotate. We need to remember to mark it as serializable so we can set it from Unity. Then, in our update method, we'll check if the character is moving by checking that the movement direction is not zero.
If it is moving, we want to make the character rotate towards the movement direction. To do this, we need to get the desired destination rotation. We'll store this in a quaternion variable, which is a type specifically for storing rotations. We'll use the quaternion look rotation method to create a rotation looking in the desired direction. We'll set the forward direction to the vector 3 forward direction. This is along the z-axis going into the screen and it should always be set to this value for 2D games. We'll set the up direction to the movement direction as we want the character to change from pointing up along the y-axis to pointing in the direction we are moving. Now we'll use this to change the rotation of our character. We'll use the quaternion rotate towards method to rotate from our current rotation towards the desired direction. We'll use our rotation speed variable to control how quickly the character rotates, remembering to multiply by time.delta time. Let's save the script and switch back to Unity. We'll set the rotation speed to 720 so that the character changes direction quickly. Then we'll press play to try it out. Now the character smoothly rotates towards the direction it's moving. This works really well for sprites that are facing in the upward direction to start with, but what if the sprite is facing in a different direction, such as to the right? Let's see what would happen in this scenario. We've created a modified version of the sprite that's been rotated 90 degrees. We've added our script and set it up to match the original. Let's press play to try this out. Our original character rotates correctly, but our new one is off by 90 degrees. If you find yourself in this situation, there are a few ways you can fix it. You could modify the sprite and rotate it, but this might be time consuming if you have lots of sprites. Another option is to nest the sprite in a parent game object. We'll right click the sprite in the hierarchy and select Create Empty Parent. Then we'll select the sprite and change the rotation of the character to 90 on the Z axis. We'll then remove the script from the sprite and we'll add it onto the parent object instead. The script will now control the movement and rotation of the parent, and the rotation of the child will be offset by 90 degrees. Let's press play to try this out. Now both characters move and rotate correctly. Ok, that covers everything for this video, hope you found it useful, please leave any questions or feedback in the comments and subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. If you find the channel useful and would like to help support our work you can find us on Patreon and coffee.com. Thanks guys!